I was initially introduced to this series while I was perusing a Barnes & Noble with a friend. Most of the time we end up gravitating toward the manga section and checking out what's on display there. I initially found Kiss Him Not Me solely because of its ridiculous name. At first glance it looked like a trashy manga. One Google search later, I found out that an anime would be premiering soon after this manga discovery though. I was surprised to find out that after watching the first episode, I was absolutely in love with this series. I'm Banana Owens and this is an Otaka Youth Anime Review. Kiss Him Not Me stars Kai Serenuma, a female otaku who loves reading yaoi material. One day, her favorite anime character is killed off and she goes into shock. A week later, she finally emerges from her room and finds out that she has lost a lot of weight, becoming gorgeous in the eyes of her classmates. On her first day back to school, she catches the eye of four of her classmates, Igarashi, Nanashima, Shinomiya, and Mutsumi. The series then turns into a reverse harm of sorts of each guy attempting to charm Serenuma and win her heart. The series is an absolutely perfect comedy. Much of the initial comedy comes from the boys learning about Serenuma's otaku ways. For instance, the first episode alone ends with Serenuma proudly proclaiming her love for her favorite anime character while carrying a body pillow with his image on it. Serenuma is a proud otaku, and it is hilarious to see how much the boys will put up with in order to get closer to her. Another portion of the comedy also comes for the competition between the characters for Serenuma's love. The characters get in all sorts of wacky situations that end up turning competitive. For instance, one episode features the characters going to a convention to assist her in acquiring all sorts of merchandise. They end up being overshadowed by another character who seems to be a perfect match. Another episode features a shipping war that can only be settled by a fanfiction competition. The situations that the characters are placed in lend itself well for a variety of comedic moments, a significant amount of which will please any fan of anime. As for the characters themselves, the series boasts an impressive display of likable characters. Irashi is relatively athletic with a good nature, Nanashima is the classic tsundere with an adorable relationship with his younger sister, Shinomiya is the youngest of the bunch with an effeminate but tsundere attitude, Mitsume aka Sam Senpai is my personal favorite of the bunch. He's obsessed with history and is the most generally nice character of the entire series. Of course, there are a variety of other characters, some of which also attempt to woo Serenuma. I won't spoil these interactions, but the fourth episode introduces a new hair member that was absolutely genius in retrospect. Overall, this series is the perfect comedy with an impressive batch of characters. The animation for this series carries a bright aesthetic. As a comedy, this bright animation style perfectly fits the tone. As for the actual movement, the animation quality is decent. This is not a series that requires excellent animation though, as it is solely focused on character and action and not on displays of animation. At certain points, the characters are heavily stylized in order to showcase character reactions, and these moments perfectly fit in with the series. The strength in the animation lies with the character design. Every character is unique with a variety of outfits. Each character also has their mannerisms perfectly captured by the animation. My personal favorite examples of this involve any moment where Serenuma goes into an otaku reaction mode, usually when the guys are interacting with each other. As for the sound design, the series features some impressive voice acting. The main cast is perfectly captured by the voice actors. Again, I like the use of two separate voices for Serenuma. Her normal appearance has a very cute and girly voice, while her otaku mode possesses a deeper tone. Little details like this add significantly to the comedy of the series. As for the music, nothing here really stands out besides the opening. I think Please Princess will be stuck in my head until the end of time. Overall, the animation and sound design perfectly fit the tone of the series. I did not expect to fall in love with this series. It ended up being a genuinely hilarious comedy with likable characters. Watching it as it aired ended up being my high point of the week. I give Kiss Him Not Me my banana own stamp of approval. It was my favorite show of the season. Thanks for checking this piece out and I'll be back next week for another review.